Hey guys and welcome. We're continuing our conversation about VORs. In my last video, if you didn't catch it, we talked about the components of a VOR system, how the VOR works to send out signals to your aircraft, and your, how your aircraft determines a relative position to the VOR and displays it on the instrument, what the different things on the instrument face means, and then how to dial in to your VOR for using your nav radios and the OBS on the VOR. So now let's get into what the to from means and how to determine your relative position with the information you have on the face of the VOR. Okay, so let's start with a to indication. So let's just do an exercise and get a to indication and then we'll get a from indication and then we'll tell you what that means. So with your VOR synced to your nav radio, so again, VOR1, if we're using VOR1, we're going to want to use nav radio 1, and a VOR frequency dialed into your nav radio. So let's say we want to use a specific VOR station that we found on our sectional chart. We want to find that frequency and put it into our nav radio. Once we have that dialed in, we want to spin the OBS dial until the white needle centers with a 2 indication. The number up top, on top of the compass rows of your VOR face. And then for a from indication, again, with our VOR synced to our nav radio and VOR frequency, we're going to spin the OBS dial into the white needle center centers with the from, the white triangle on the from indication. And then we'll read the number directly above the top of the needle with your from direction relative to the VOR. So divide your chart into two. We want to visualize our chart split into two sections centered at the VOR. One section is on the side of the heading at the top of your VOR needle, 330 in this example. The section will be everywhere on your chart between plus or minus 90 degrees of 330. So the section is from 240 spanning to 060, and that is the from section. The other section is on the side opposite the heading at the top of your VOR needle. So in this example, this would be the side 180 degrees from 330, which is 150. And the section, the two section, will be everywhere on your chart between plus or minus 90 degrees of 150. So the section is from 060 spanning to 240. This is the two section. And this is what it looks like. We have 330 dialed in, and here's our aircraft. We have 330 dialed in with a from indication. So our needle is centered because we're on the 330 radial, so we're receiving that signal. And then the from area is going to be the side that's the same side as our radial. So this is the, our radial. So as you can see, the green, all this green from this line out is going to be our from area, and that's going to be the area that spans from 060 to 240, which is 90 degrees to the right of 330 and 90 degrees to the left of 330. That's going to be the from. The two side is going to be everything on this side that spans from 060 to 240 over here. So if our aircraft was over here and we had 330 dialed in and we turned our OBS until our needle centered, what would our indication be? It would be a 2 because we lie here in the blue. And this is the coloring for the 330 radial because that's what we have dialed into our VOR. If we had something else dialed in, like let's say we had 030, dialed into our VOR, then this section would shift. And the from would be up here, and the two would be down here. The blue and green looks the way it is in this picture because we have zero three, sorry, 330 dialed into our VOR. The, air, the side of the radio that our aircraft is on, when our aircraft is on the same side as our radio, we're going to get a from indication because we're in the green. And if our aircraft was on the radial, was still on this line, it's technically still parallel with that line, 
it's just not on the same side as our radial, it's on the opposite side, then that would get, we'd be in the blue and we'd be with a two indication. So let's see this two from concept in action in an animation. So here we are on the 330 radial of Oceanside VOR, and we're on the 330 side of the radial. So if we have 330 dialed into our VOR like you see here, and we're on the 330 side, our needle is going to be centered because we're on the radial, and we're going to have a from indication. Now, if our aircraft was on the opposite side, 330 minus 180, which is the 150 side, like you can see this aircraft right here, then we're still on that line, so our needle is still going to be centered when we have 330 dialed in, but instead of a from indication, we're going to have that two indication because we're not on the 330 side, we're on the opposite side, so we have a two. So here we have an aircraft traveling in the direction of the 330 radial. It's actually on the side of the 150 radial, so it's in this blue side. And if you see our instrumentation, we have 330 dialed in, and we're on the 330 or the 150 radial. We're on that line, right, the red line. So our needle is centered, but we have a two indication because we're on the opposite side of the 330 radial. We're in that blue section. Now when we cross over the VOR station onto the same side as our VOR radio that dialed in, the 330, the green side, it'll change to a from. So let's watch that happen. And you can see as you cross over, you change from a from. And then when you come back over, it'll change. When you get into the blue, it changes to a two. Now notice the whole time that the VOR needle is not changing because the whole time we are on that radio, we're either on the 330 or the 150 radial. And that's all that needle cares about. That'll tell us, the needle tells us if we're on that line or it's opposite. And then the two from tells us which side we're on. Now, the other thing I want to tell you, as you can see this aircraft spinning around, the VOR instrument does not change at all. Of course, the needle stays the same and it changed from two from when we cross over the green and blue areas. But the VOR instrument does not care what direction the aircraft is pointed. So let's take the example of the VOR seen in the chart where the needle is centered on 330 with a from indication. That means our aircraft is on the 330 degree radial on the green side because we're on the from side. That means we're on the same side as our radial. And again, your aircraft can be pointed in any direction and at any distance from your VOR. So that explains the two from indication. So what about the VOR needle? If your VOR needle is not centered on a direction, then it means your aircraft is not along the radial you have entered into your VOR. So again, if we have 330 dialed into our VOR, for the needle to be centered, our aircraft has to be on 330 or its opposite line of 150. If your aircraft is not, then your VOR needle will not be centered like we see in this picture here. To understand where you are in relation to your radial, you can imagine your aircraft is pointed in the same heading as the radial on your instrument. Then, if the needle is to the left, you need to turn left to get on the radial. So in this picture, our needle is off-centered to the left. That means if our aircraft is headed or pointed in the same direction as what we have dialed in, 330, then we are not reverse sensing, we're forward sensing. And that means a needle to the left means we have to turn left to get on back onto our radial. And if the needle was to the right, let's say the needle was this way, aircraft would be somewhere over here because a right turn would then get us back on this line here and center our needle. So needle to the right, turn right, needle to the left, turn left. Now, if you don't have your aircraft pointed in the same direction, so pointed at 330, heading of 330 as what you have dialed into your VOR, or if you're answering an FA written test and you don't imagine the aircraft with the same heading as the radial you have, you could be into what they call reverse sensing. And the needle would mean the opposite. So if our aircraft, instead of being pointed to the north, if it was pointed more towards the south, we would have what, we're call, what we call reverse sensing. And so a needle to the left, like we see, and again, remember, nothing would change. If we changed the direction our nose was pointing, nothing on the VOR instrument would change. 
still be set to 330. We'd still have the needle off to the left and we'd still have the from indication. Nothing would change because the VOR doesn't care what direction we're pointing. But the action we take with the information we get from the VOR does matter what direction we're pointing. And that's what this reverse sensing is. So if we're not pointed in the same direction as what we have dialed into the VOR, 330 in this case, if we're pointed, let's say the opposite, like this arrow is pointing towards the south, then we, and if we read this a needle to left, if we were to turn left, that would take us this way, away from our VOR line. So it's reverse sensing because we're not pointed in the same direction, a needle to left actually means turn to the right. And this can be really confusing and that's why I always, even when I'm flying, the first thing I do is I just dial in. I use, I always use the VOR radial that's in the direction that I'm flying. So I don't have to worry about reverse sensing. So if I'm tracking to a VOR, instead of using the radial that's pointed right at me, I'll use the radial that's pointed in the direction that I'm going so that I can be forward sensing or normal sensing and not reverse sensing so I can avoid that confusion. And then when I'm trying to answer FA written questions and I'm thinking about these things in my head, I always imagine the aircraft pointed in the same direction as what's on here. And that helps me say, okay, that means that if I, I needle to the left, that I would have to turn left to get back on to the radial line. And that means my aircraft is somewhere over here. So again, try to avoid that river sensing. It helps make it a lot simpler. So let's see this course deviation needle in action in another animation. So here we have an aircraft pointed in the 330 direction. We have 330 dialed into our VOR, but we're on the opposite side of the 330 radial. So we have a two indication. Our needle is centered because we're on that 330 line or the 150, the opposite, the 180 opposite of that line. And then I want you to watch the needle as we go. We veer off the line to the right and off the line to the left. You're going to see that needle move to the left or right. Now, because we're pointed in the same direction, 330, as what we have dialed in on our VOR, 330, we will have normal sensing. And what that means is a needle to the right means we need to turn right to get back on course. That means we're off course to the left. And a needle to the left means we need to turn left to get back on course. That means we're off course to the right. Otherwise, if we were if we had 150 dialed in, we would have reverse sensing and it would mean the opposite. So here we can see our aircraft veering off course to the right and our needle goes to the left. That means we need to turn left and as we turn left, the needle comes back to the center. Then when we veer off to the left, our needle is going to go to the right, meaning we need to turn right to get back on course. Now, the opposite is true. So if we flip around and we're now headed towards the 150 direction, but we still have 330 dialed into our VOR, we're going to experience, because it's different, we're going to experience reverse sensing. So now you can see we're off course. We need to turn right to get back on course, but our needle is to the left. Now, as we veer off course to the right, we need to turn left, but our needle is to the right. Let's show that a couple more times. So here we are, we need to turn to the right, but our needle is to the left. So that can be confusing. I like it when it says needle to the left, turn left to get back on course. And this way, that is why I always point my aircraft in the same direction as what I have dialed into the VR or vice versa. So that I always have normal sensing and I don't have to worry about reverse sensing. Okay, so now that we know what the from means, right? It We have a from side and we have a to side. And now, what, that we know what our needle means, needle to the left, turn to the left if we're pointed in the same direction, needle to the right, turn to the right if we're pointed in the same direction. We can determine our relative position by what our reading is on the VOR. To determine where your aircraft should be by only reading the VOR instrument, like what you'll see on the FA written, you can follow these steps. Imagine a line from the center of the VOR drawn outward through the radial you have entered in the instrument as well as in the opposite direction. So this is the line we have drawn here. If the needle is centered, your aircraft is somewhere on this line. So it could be here, could be here, could be here, could be here, right? 
the needle just tells us needle center just tells us we're somewhere on that line we could be pointed in any direction and we could be any distance from that line and we could be on either side of the line because all we know is the needle center so all we know is we're on that line to determine which side of the radial it's on you can use the following if you draw a line from your aircraft to the VOR center so the VOR center is the center right here and it hits the radial label so the radial label is these labels right two two four zero two seven zero three three zero zero three zero zero six zero the labels on the chart if it hits that radial label first before it hits the VOR center again here in the middle then you are on the from side so if we're right here and we draw a line from our aircraft to the VOR center, right here we hit this VOR label of 330 first before we hit the center in the middle. That tells us we're on the from side. And if we draw a line from our aircraft down here to the center, we're going to hit the center first and we would have to keep drawing our line to get to the 330, what we have dialed in in order to hit that label. So it hits the VOR center first on this one, and that means we have a two indication. So this is just another way to do it. Another way to do it, which is pretty simple, is if your aircraft is on the same side as what you have dialed in, the radial you have dialed in, just draw that radial pointing out from the center. If your aircraft is on that side, you're on the from. If it's on the opposite side or anywhere on the blue side right again 90 degrees to the right 90 degrees to the left and if it's anything beyond that point then you're on the two side and then finally if your needle is not centered we want to imagine your aircraft is pointed in the same direction as your vor radial entered on your instrument so we have 330 in this case so let's point our aircraft at 330 so now that we have forward or normal sensing we don't have reverse sensing then if the needle is to the left we know that we need to turn left to get onto the line, and that would mean our aircraft is to the right of the line. And if the needle is to the right, like in this example, then that would mean we'd have to turn right to get on the radial, and that would mean we're actually to the left of the radial. So that would put our aircraft to the left of the radial line, and to determine how far to the left, again, we can use the course deviation lines, the little notches, where the needle lines up with and determine how many degrees off from that line we are to the left or to the right. All right, so it's been a lot. Uh, we went over the two from and how to determine which side from is, which side two is. We talked about the needle and how to determine where your aircraft is, whether the needle is centered to the left or to the right. And then we talked about how to combine the two from indication with the needle to determine where your aircraft is located. And in the next video, we'll do some examples so that we can further ingrain this into your minds and help with your understanding of VORs.